See, uh, <clears throat> see, Dr. Boyce, let me explain something to you, sir. Come here. Get a little closer to me. I ain't going to hurt you. Um, I've been having to deal with guys like you, Dr. Boyce, my entire life. I've been having to deal with the quote unquote educated, the guy who don't really like jocks because, you know, we get the girl, you know, you know, we get the girl. <laughs> and you, you know, don't really get credit for all the brains and all the stuff that you feel that you know. So I've learned how to beat condescending, fake, smart talking guys like you. See, how you beat a guy like you, see, you were expecting me, Dr. Boyce. See, you say a lot of condescending things to me, but see, the best way to beat you, a condescending bitch like you, is to let your own words speak for themselves. So I'm going to play what you were saying, sir, so people can hear, because you said on Hip Hop Viral News that, oh, even your people didn't know you didn't say anything disrespectful. Now, see, I understand your ass been eating scones and, 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 and been hanging around them bourgeois with Z because you only want 10%, remember? I want all people. I feel we all the same. The Bible say we all are nothing. But see, you, with your own words, say you only want a certain percent. So you, sir, by your own tongue, are a part of a go-along, get-along gang. That's why you keep talking about Kwame Brown, somebody who's not on your intellectual level by your own words. You said you were studying me, sir. Why are you studying me? Why are you reaching so low and reaching down? It doesn't make any sense. Saying, and, oh God, why did you bring him back up there to talk about me? We were done talking. And then you want to say that somebody showed you a text that I said, you not the guy? <laughs> when you ever been the guy somebody had run from? <laughs> Besides the girl you like, run from you till she needs you. I done told you, beta male nigga, y'all better watch y'all goddamn mouth. Just because Judge Joe set me up with somebody to ask me to leave your punk ass alone don't mean that nobody's in control of me. So you're going to watch your feminine ass tongue, and this better be the last day you talk about me. Because I haven't mentioned your name, sir. If you're so motherfucking bourgeoisie and only want the 10%, then guess what? My ignorant ass shouldn't be in it. Now, let me let your own words bust you in the ass, Dr. Moist. Let me just let your own words bust you right in your ass since you ain't do nothing wrong. Since you want to be a condescending, fake, smart nigga. Let's just listen to you. Talk to Ice Cube because Ice Cube fully convinced me that Ice Cube is trying his best to be independent and do what's best for black people. So at that point, that's when I knew that we had a similar interest. That's when I knew that, oh, okay, I can talk to this guy. That's when I knew, like, okay, this, this brother's really trying to do something good. Whereas there have been other people that, that tried to connect, that reached out, where I was like, ah, I don't really know if this is going to really be a productive friendship because I think you have too many uh, cooks in the kitchen. You have too many interests that you're trying to look out for that are going to get in the way of us being able to get things done. So I like the fact that Kwame appears to be somewhat independent. I like when he says, you know, look, are you invited me on your show? I don't want to go on your show. Like, he doesn't need to go on anybody's show. Like, why the hell, why in the flying fuck do we even validate mainstream bullshit white-owned media where they're telling lies every single day by basically trying to get in and get on there? The reason Roland Martin is such a ridiculous buffoon half the damn time is because Roland's trying to get a damn job. Roland wants to get hired at CNN. Roland wants NBC to call him. Talking about Roland another black man. His, 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 you know, his, I'm sure his, uh, his testicles... Get, get gushy when he gets a phone call from, you know, from some major uh, major white media outlet that acknowledges him, right? Negroes are always searching for validation, and what I've always told you you is kind of you should boy. get your validation inside. You are already good enough. You matter already. You don't need these people to acknowledge you for you to be worthy. So at the end of the day, that's what I really like about it. I'm like, okay, this guy's sitting there in his bedroom doing videos, talking to shit, and, and, and nobody can really touch him or get at him. At least it doesn't appear that way. At least it now, doesn't appear that said, way. Though, here's what I want to kind of get you to consider. It's a lot of little because sneaky like, shit he put in there. Look, I worry about Kwame's platform, uh, not just because he's pissing off the elite, 
you know, the elite, what they tend to do is they will, um, you know, they, they, they will discredit. That's one of the things that they've been trying to do, and, and that's something that kind of went bad. I mean, I, you know, Charlemagne, I think he's, he's going to have some challenges because he got to deal with that whole thing from 20 years ago. Um, he, he said some things where he ended up having to backpedal, um, and I don't know how to... Um, Dr. Boyce, how you know what the elite going to do? How you know? You know a lot. Where you come from? You know a lot of stuff about the elite and what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Why do you know all this, sir? And why all of a sudden you talking about me and I never mentioned your name, sir? You are the elite. You said you only want 10%. And now you keep talking about me for whatever reason. They keep bringing you up. I thought you was over with. What, what, you, what you coming back for, sir? But continue. That's going to work out for him. I don't really know. I, I literally, again, I can tell you, I can only speak to how he's treated me. He's always treated me with decency and respect. Another reason why I'm not throwing Charlemagne out in with the garbage is because Charlemagne. Not an internet going out. Jesus Christ. They don't even want to let, let their boys talk. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, they know you. <laughs> boy, y'all got a good go along, get along game, boy. <laughs> now the internet don't work. Let me skip this video and go to another one. Let me see if I can get another one to work. This is amazing, boy. Y'all some well-protected puppets, boy, I swear. Because how you going to call a man crazy and diagnose my mental state and say that I'm worried about being called a bus, and you making all these insertions when you don't even know me. How did that become educated, sir? With the level of education you claim to have, you should know the definition of the word ignorance. You're ignorant to anything about me, sir. You would have to go ask somebody or ask your go along, get along game. I declined to talk to you for a reason, sir. I don't want to talk to your kind. Doesn't mean you have to make me a sworn enemy. What is wrong with you feminine niggas? Why now, because I reclined a call from you, now you want to go backwards and talk about me again, sir? Do we have to be friends? Do we have to slap hands? Why can't you do what you're doing and I do what I'm doing? Why can't you salute your young brother because you keep doing it in the beginning, oh, I have no problem with what he's doing. I like what he's doing, but he might bark up the wrong tree. And when he bark up that wrong tree, here's how they take his channel down. When when you when he bark up that wrong tree, you just go in there. He used the N word in the title, and when he used the N word, they can just take your channel down. Yep, they'll do it. That's what they do. Like enough is enough, Doctor Boyce. We all know that Charlemagne the Hole is your friend. Every time they send you at me, I'm going to go drag DJ Envy Leash, you little light-skinned little punk bitch. I'm going to drag your ass out and bring your name back up, you little punk motherfucker. And now I'm going to talk about Charlemagne. And Charlemagne, I was looking at a video of, uh, what's the guy's name? He's a, a, a legal advisor or attorney or something. He gave some real good advice on what we should do about you. And I might take them up on it since you keep wanting to send people at me, punk. I might have to go ahead and put up that, uh, yeah, some of the quotes that you said. Yeah, I might. I think I like that. I think we're going to let you guys' words beat y'all damn self because you guys are idiots. And I wish this damn laptop wouldn't have been messing up. And you guys don't know how to trick the goddamn internet out of this motherfucker because I would let, and I'm going to go home and do it, sir. I'm going to let you speak for yourself, Mr. Watkins. You said a lot of things about a person you never met, and then you get on viral hip-hop news and act as if you don't know why a person would be mad. Is that like a script you punk motherfuckers read from? Fuck with somebody, and then when they say something to you, you well, you know, I'm just so classy, and I'm <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm so above the little peasant, you know. Uh, he's with some high school kid gang. It's like, grow the fuck up already fuck you think you talking to by the time my sophomore year motherfucker i had a college a path to college paid for i've been mature and i've been seeing snakes like you so leave me the fuck alone and stop studying me i was gonna put the clip up where you said i've been studying 
Kwame for a while now. Why are you studying me? Why am I worthy for you to study a busted bus? Y'all been studying me. <laughs> Why y'all keep fucking with me? I told y'all leave me the fuck alone. 20 years you want to defame a motherfucker character and I'm showing the world you some lying, weak, punk bitches. And now y'all want to drag out every fake educated motherfucker to destroy a black man. Bring somebody white so I can call them racist. <laughs> you bitches easy. Now we got economics majors talking about a busty bus. Why, sir? What gives you what gives me such esteem for me now to deserve your your great tongue? Cause the way your condescending ass talk on your page, we only want the smart people here. You know, you know if you're dumb, you're, you're ignorant, don't even come here. You know, we're just so educated. Yeah. Who the fuck want to be around a condescending talking bitch like that? I don't give a fuck what your message is. You can't come around no men talking like that. You know you ain't been around no goddamn man. You talking like that, you'd have been got your ass draws kicked in your motherfucking ass. That'd have broke your glasses at least. <laughs>